Blue. Andy's a great gentleman, past president of the Blue Federation of America, the organization that sanctions these competitions. So, as I was saying, the, the, the challenge today, though, is see, Paul Petrin is one of those guys who normally he would wind up and sleep that marker and score a good uh, 40, 50 feet better than he's going to score because this morning he can't wind it up and throw it. So he's uh, out on the outer edge of the target, as is Bruce Bussey and Robert Ampo there. They're all out on the far edge of the scoring area, maybe beyond the scoring area, actually. It's, uh, I think I look at this area, it's 300 foot. You're sitting right on the edge of the scoring area. You'll notice in front of you there is that uh, circle of bowed grass that marks the outer boundary of the uh, scoring area. And that goes all the way around the target. So it looks like those guys might be on the very Bussy and Robert Ampo might actually be outside the scoring area. It's hard to tell from uh, our perspective here. The blue balloon climbing high now with the yellow, green, and uh, purple diamond on it. In the center, that is uh, Brandon Blue. Brandon is here out of Iowa. This is called the Royal Racer, and he's our media sponsor, believe, this year. He got tagged with uh, sponsorship by 105, KYKX, Sunny 106.5, and a couple of other stations that I don't recall. But uh, all of our uh, radio stations combined into one sponsorship. So he's climbing high and on his way to the other target. We'll be watching them, but they still got to fly out three miles and then come back.